out a 1935 International, and well, this old girl's been sitting for at least 71 years, and well, she came from Oklahoma. She used to be a Chickasaw Lumber Company truck back in the day. Phone number 88, that shows you how long ago that was. About 25 years ago, she was drug up out of the field, 20, 25 years ago, and used as yard art. That's why she's got a newer style bed on her. Well, somebody built that to put flowers and such on. You can see uh, where the flower pots was, but she was in yard art jail for a while, and we're gonna put her back on the road because I think she'll be a good old work truck. Underneath the hood, I thought she'd have a six, I mean a four cylinder, but she's got the good old inline six in her. She does have some of the original, well, original style plug champions. There's three of them, four of them in here. This in here is rusted off pretty good, so we'll be lucky if them don't break off in the head. We'll have to heat on them and beat them with a hammer and a chisel to try to get them loose and fill this thing with some acetone and transmission fluid. The uh, oil dip stick, nope, we'll have to get some pliers on that bad boy and check the oil later, but... We'll have to do that, then pull the head off this more than likely because we'll have a bunch of stuck valves. But she, since she has uh, head studs, it's a lot easier to get the plugs loose than the motor rolling over. Then you put some string down in here and bump the head loose because them are a pain in the butt to get loose. On the interior here, we have the uh, Christmas light deluxe package in here. And they even use the fancy little hangers to hang the lights up. She does have a good old 47,789.4 miles on her, so that's a lot of miles for back then, so that's probably why they parked her. The uh, windshield has the glare package here because some boy shot it with a pellet gun about 50 million times. He also got that side glass and this side glass while she was sitting in the field, but at least he didn't get the back glass. We do have to find us a set of tires that hold air because... They kind of hold air, but they got flat spots in them, and no matter how much air you put in these bad boys, the flat spots just stay there. Well, we're going to go ahead and clean off them plugs and start working on the old girl, and hopefully she comes loose pretty good. all we could then we uh, took the hammer and chisel and broke up that rust that's just concreted around the plugs and well we're gonna shot back the rest of it out and heat these and hope we can get them out this one's not gonna come out because there's nothing to grab onto and this one's missing a whole side of a plug but the other ones look fairly clean like they might come out after a good two and a half three minutes of heating we're gonna go ahead and uh Spray her with some PB Blaster and hope for the best here. She's a little warm. We'll let that soak and hopefully that heat and it cooling will pull it down in there and we can get her out without breaking the threads off. I think we've got her whooped on this one. Let's see here. There. Now if you look, they're the large style plugs because it's an older engine. And right there, the threads weren't too bad on this one. You can see where they kind of started slipping because it's rusty. But that right there is about rusted off of that plug. And it's normally supposed to, about, supposed to be about half that thick. I mean twice that thick there. Well, this one came out we're gonna go ahead and try to get the other five out of there if we're lucky got us about a four foot cheetah bar here and if we're lucky we can get her to break loose and not break off i think she's about to break off I think this is the tightest spark plug we've ever had to pull out of one of these things so far.
we'll go ahead and chop back up all that uh, PB blaster so we don't get no roughs down in there. This is exactly what we did not want to happen. Uh, number two, yeah, broke off in there on the first turn. We even heated it and everything else. So that's not a good thing. It's not the end of the world. We can always use a easy out if we have to, or, well, if we have to, we'll pull the head off of it. I'm not sure we'll have to pull the head off of this one because down in them cylinders is looking pretty good. A socket beat on the number five plug. And no matter what, we're gonna have to pull this head off of here. I thought we was gonna be able to get away with it, but there's quite a few rusty and crusty pieces down in this one. And I think I knocked the top of a spark plug down in there that broke off. Not sure, but it's better just to be safe than sorry and take that off. Also, that one back there does have a little bit of rust in it, like scale pieces of rust. And if that gets down around your rings when you're running it, it'll eat the cylinder walls. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off of here. We'll have to heat all these bolts and hopefully none of these studs break off there. And we may be able to get it off there without having the motor rolling over because that'd probably be our best bet. the nuts off the head bolts except for these two because we can't get to them due to this being there i thought that was a 7 16th comes out that it's a uh, half inch we're going to heat them bolts up get that off and let's we'll put this back on here so we can get a hold of this and try to get the head loose but we got these last two these all came off really easy we didn't break any of them some of them we did have to reheat a little bit and spray again but all in all, it's coming apart pretty easy. Lucky on that, both these bolts came out without breaking it off. There's quite a bit of rust down in there. and We got them off, we got these two off. We're gonna bolt that back up and take this radiator hose off and try to wiggle that head back and forth. And hopefully it comes off without too much trouble because the motor's still locked up and we can't use the good old string trick to get her off. Are you loose now? No. It's one of them weird things. It can be. Oh, there it is. Oh, it fell back. Okay. Yep, that's the culprit right there. You can see how loose the bank of it is, just a bouncing around, but. You gotta watch also when you put the crowbar, crowbar in there about the valves, and where you're at on them. You don't wanna bend them over and break them. it's going down again oh them cylinders look immaculate i do not know why she's locked up there 
blues back here. Come on. Come on. There. Ain't wonder. And it's got far enough down on there where it's stuck again. Okay. So far it's coming apart. You really don't want to do this, but let's see where the head gasket is. I don't even see the head gasket. Oh, there it is. It's, on, it's laying on the bottom. Okay. It's laying on the bottom. That's a good thing. Kind of. Try not to smash no fingers up here. Got that head off there we can look down in here all that rust around the head studs is not from uh, the cylinders it's from the water jacket there is quite a bit of rust on that valve i noticed that when i took that plug out but no that's the one we couldn't get the plug out of i think it is there's not much rust down in the cylinders they're really clean so i'm not sure why she's locked up so solid because when i went to pull her on the trailer she was in gear and she would not move so there's something going on. It may just be the moisture that got around the rings over the years. And there's that piece of a spark plug that I lost. I knew it went down in there. That's one of the re one reason we pulled the head off. Also, we've seen all this stuff on top of the valves, and you don't want to run that through there. We're going to go ahead and shop back this stuff up, get some acetone and uh, transmission fluid down in there, let her set for a few days, and we should be able to get her whirling pretty easy with as good as she looks down in there. acetone down in here and we'll just pour some transmission fluid on top of that we bought enough acetone and stuff to mix up about a gallon or two of uh, acetone and transmission fluid but it don't look like this motor has enough uh, displacement to handle all of that oh that ain't Stuff's leaking out of there just about as quick as you pour it in. Probably have a few stuck rings, but no big deal. There we go. Don't look too bad. Now we just gotta let this sit for a few days or a few hours, it just depends on the motor. And she should come back to life. It is leaking past some of these rings awfully quick because we overfilled them and if you look, it's already, uh, you know, a little bit down on there. So I'm gonna say a bunch of these rings are just stuck because it's leaking past them pretty quick. We let the old girl set overnight, and well, I've added a transmission fluid and acetone to these a few times yesterday and a few times this morning. They're 
they've drained down about that much on the front one overnight. It decided to get cold today. We loosened this thing up so we should be able to see, well, I thought we loosened it up, how much oil we have down in there. And well, I gotta say, that oil looks brand new. You can see there's a little bit of transmission fluid and acetone in it, but it's on the full line and it's really, really clean. That's a good sign. We said overnight and everything. We've got our battery kind of hooked up there. Hopefully the battery cables work. We're just gonna jump it off the top of that starter off of the cable that's on it. And once we get it rolling over, we'll shop back this stuff out of here and figure out a good battery cable situation. But for now, we're just gonna see if... Come on. As I expected. The uh, starter bendix in the end is a little jammed up. It seems. I do some floorboard removal services here. Find our handy dandy uh, hammer here. We're going to tap on the case and that don't work, we'll uh, pull the starter off of that. Shouldn't take too much here. Probably just a little rust on it. We got to pull the starter off of there. So it took a good hour and a half, but we got them three bolts out of that starter. Uh, the first, well, only one of them came out reasonably easy. And the other ones, one of them we finally got loose and the other one we heated up until it uh, broke off. So maybe we can see, uh, oh yeah, it's all nice and rusty in there. Uses the same stylus. Ooh, that starter's still hot as can be. There we go. This is the same style of Bendix style as them old flatheads do. And that's why it's all stuck. You can see all that rust around there. And since it's cold, I'm wearing gloves. And since this is hot, I'm wearing gloves. But uh, we'll get this thing a soaking and we'll probably have her cleaned up by tomorrow. We'll wait a day or so because uh, it's pretty rough and I don't want to have to pull this bad boy again. We will put new bolts in there because that might make life a little easier. Whew. Well, what that said overnight and tomorrow we got to go to the parts store and get some bolts because for some reason I do not have any uh, more bolts, even the grade eight bolts I don't have laying around to put this bad boy back in there and it's a Sunday afternoon so they're closed. There we go. Somewhat loose. Okay, that gets its stuff against that. Maybe the fourth or fifth time's the charm on this one. We keep pulling her off there, she works, and as soon as we put her back on there, she just goes Wah! and won't engage. So, we're gonna try it again. There, oh, she's loose, just like that. That's too easy. That's just one bump and she pulled herself loose there. We're gonna shop back all that stuff out of there now that she moves a little bit. 
to make sure there's nothing we don't get nothing around the rings and score the cylinders but i'm not sure what was wrong with the starter i've messed with a million of these things and i guess it just needed to come in and out of there about five times video without catching something on fire i'm not sure if the camera caught that or not but uh we were whirling the old starter and uh acetone's rather flammable i guess and she decided she'd want to you know catch on fire it'll burn off fairly quickly here. throw the head gasket on here this is a uh, original style head gasket we got this from a guy on ebay and he put it on a piece of plywood which was smart idea i don't know how many head gaskets i've got that have been uh, all bent up this is the original style head gasket. You can see it's a, I thought these were gonna be copper, but I guess this is just metal and the asbestos in the center. These things last a million years. You can reuse them, but the one on this one, I messed it up with the crowbar because the head was stuck on here. So we had to order a new one. And we're running into problems with getting it on there. Maybe it takes a little bit more wiggling. I do have it the right side up, don't I? Maybe I don't. Ah, we had it on backwards. We weren't paying attention. There. Sometimes it's good to read instructions. All the valves are free it all works so that's good also the head gasket that was on this i have a feeling it already been reused because it was smashed about oh, the, about the thickness of the metal so best just to throw one on here so maybe it won't leak water into the engine or leak yeah, compression we gotta take this in the shop and do some welding weld some bolts in there and uh hopefully extract them spark plugs rather easily Riding with uh getting these uh out of here for about 45 minutes We've welded bolt after bolt after bolt into there. And uh, well, this one we welded to the copper washer. This one here, we welded to it and it broke off. We've pulled a bunch of pieces off of this one, but I think still has a little bit of like shoulder on it so we might be a little easier but we got to weld a bolt into this one and hopefully it comes out been another 35 minutes we got this other one out and this one right here has been the one that has uh been the hardest one so far up and throw it back on the truck and well she should be ready to go you can just about always guarantee yourself about one or two smash fingers Woo! never mind that is the easiest one of them i have ever put back on well then I guess she wants to live. We 
shot or whatever this thing is full of the nuts for it so I'll slap her back together we should have us a good run work truck here in a minute the head now all torqued down on there it took a little while but we got them all torqued we went from the center out because it's a brand new head gasket we wanted to make sure we did it right we're going to put just a little bit of this engine stop leak in there if it'll come out of the bottle. Good. I forgot to take the little plastic thing off from the inside. We don't want to put a whole lot in there, just enough. It probably don't even need it, but every time we don't do this, we end up having to do it and taking the plugs back out of the thing. And it can't hurt nothing anyway. It may smoke a little, but it'll give the cylinders good lubrication for starting up for the first time in 71 years these are the i think these are d4 yeah d14 champions they're the larger plug size and hopefully these are the right thread that one don't want to seem to go in that one does though we will take this air cleaner loose before we start whirling her over trying to get her running because who knows what's in that shouldn't be anything in it but there's always a chance we'll go ahead and try to find a socket that fits these bad boys tighten them down and then we'll work on the old distributor we got all the plugs in there let me see what the old distributor looks like down in there and well i think she's seen better days uh them are broke that's the first. Normally, points don't break like that. Uh, we're gonna have to go uh, get a set of points because uh, them just ain't gonna work for us. If we can't find a set, we can probably replace this little piece here off another set, but we need the whole set up here. So we're gonna figure out how to get this bad boy off here without breaking anything. Got the points out of there, they came out good except for I said we was going to try not to break anything, and this little guy right here broke off, so... Well, that camera won't focus. This little guy broke off. We can probably pull one out of another distributor of something from around here, but we'll try to see if we can get a new one of these. We tried undoing it, and the, you can see the little bottom of it down in there, the shiny piece. It kind of fell off there for some That's reason. We have a set of points figured out. It's not exactly how it should be. You can see it's a little short, but... It's gonna work, we go ahead and hook up the uh, coil and take that off of there and get this old girl whirling over and see if she'll fire we'll off. Fire the old truck up or crank on it anymore. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drain the oil out of this thing. I bet you a lot of it's acetone and ATF from letting it soak. And water, there's a lot of water in there. Oh man, are you trying to leak again? No, nope, there we go. We're good. We're not good. Not good at all. Uh, VR1 fancy oil again today. We've already put four quarts in there. This should be number five. and We should be ready to fire her up here in a minute. Went ahead and took that tube off of there so that uh, we didn't have to worry about whatever's in the intake. Our one spark plug wire here is kind of fancy. It's a, uh, well, just a piece of wire because I couldn't find another wire that was long enough around here. We'll fix that, though, once we get her running. Everything hooked up to see if this old girl will fire off. Last thing we got to do is uh, add a little bit of gasoline in the carburetor here. That should do it. We did fix that one plug wire, so now we have all six of them hooked up. And as long as the distributor works for her, she should run. Okay. There we go. She's trying. Come on, old girl. She's only been setting for 70 some years. Oh, that's a that's our problem. What's going on here? Yeah, that's not a big deal, but this one was arcing. Is it still plugged up? Yeah, it's plugged up. What did I do? Okay. One, five, three, be one, five, three, that's right, six, 
that right? Let's see here. One, five, three, six. So that's a problem. You somehow messed that up. Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah, you came loose. One, five, three, six. Oh, this one here. One, five, three, six. I think we have corrected our error. Come on, old girl. Come on. She's trying. Not be good and good enough connection. That's hooked up to that. That's hooked up to there. Okay. Strange, but. It's getting connection. That's hooked up. That's hooked up. Right there off the back. She tried. She really did. spark so it's not a spark issue we're getting good spark maybe it's fuel it's the fuel issue she's just really thirsty it seems uh, come on we'll have her in a second here We do need to get some coolant in her, stuff like that, but we didn't let her get too warm and she runs See, good. There shouldn't be any mosquitoes around the shop for a while. And let's walk back here to the fence line. There's a pond back here and this drops off and all the smoke's just kind of rolling down in there. Too bad it ain't the summer because we'd end up smoking them old mosquitoes out that are down in there. Cause back here in the summer, there's terrible mosquitoes. She runs, we got the brakes done. We need to put the rear wheels on the old girl and get her running and try to get that clutch loose. Uh, we gotta get a radiator hose, a belt, a gasket for that. But I gotta say, I'm surprised at how well this thing runs after 70, 
at least 71 years this old girl sat. And I mean, she runs smooth as a sewing machine and as smooth as the day she walked off the assembly line. Well, rolled off. Guess she didn't walk. She's a, she got four wheels for a reason. Started trying to put some antifreeze in it and uh, come to find out it wants to leak. Uh, we undid this hose already. We made sure these clamps were tight, but this is so petrified it just leaks. Luckily, we didn't put a whole lot in there before we noticed it uh, leaks like a screen door on a submarine. We're gonna go and try to get one of these that's unpetrified. And uh, that sludge in there don't look too pretty, but we'll run it for a while. We'll probably just put mostly water in this thing, run it, and then change it out so it don't freeze overnight. Cause that's, that's nasty. Down in here ain't that bad, but up there it's, it's pretty the nasty. The freeze we put in there, the more problems we get. That freeze plug's halfway out of there. I'm gonna knock it back in there and hopefully it holds up. decided to fight us tooth and nail every bit of the way so now we're pulling the old transmission cover off to see why the clutch won't disengage but i have a feeling that all that dirt that's coming out of there has a lot to do with it so we're gonna go ahead and uh take this off of here we was able to get that cover off of there and that right there being pushed forward, I do believe, is why our clutch does not do clutch things, except for, you know, not engage. I'm gonna get the crowbar up in there and see if we can pry that backwards. It was full of about, ooh, that's a weird glare. It was full of about 45 pounds of dirt, and there's still dirt in there, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove that and see if we can get that to disengage, and hopefully we can start her up and she'll, uh, Spin the rear wheels. We've been on this clutch for quite a while. We finally got a few things loose. And now we got some of this fancy uh, penetrating oil here. We're gonna give the clutch a good taste of it. Hopefully this stuff is as good as they say it is for the price it is. I think this is 11 bucks a can and the old uh, PB Blaster's like $8 for a big can of it. Uh-oh. Never can use too much. That's my philosophy. We'll let that uh, drip for a minute. As you can see, when we turn the old flywheel, the drive shaft kind of does the wiggle woggle now, or it did. Yeah, it still does. Barely, but we're getting somewhere. Clutch is full of dirt. Well, we're gonna hook a fuel system up, start her up, and that clutch is probably gonna stick the first time we press it in and we'll have to do all this over again. But we'll have to do that three or four times, maybe, and we'll have her on the highway. When we first went, we were messing with this thing, the clutch was stuck to the flywheel like it was engaged, which it wasn't, it was stuck disengaged because at some point someone pressed the clutch in there years ago and the little forks in there are stuck open. I've messed with it enough. I think we have it where it'll spin. And we're going to try to keep it running. And hopefully it don't fall off the jack and run through the fence. Ah, 
think if we keep her running, maybe them forks will pop back out. I think one of them's broke because when I spin it over with a screwdriver, I hear something falling down in there. We can't find a clutch or pressure plate anywhere that I've looked. So let's go see what this does. I'm gonna say the pressure plate's bad, not the clutch. and beat on it with a screwdriver and we'll try this whole process yeah, we're going to turn the rear wheels again with a screwdriver on the flywheel so we're going to fire it up and i'm sure they won't turn but at least we'll see But sadly, we're not going to get her driving in this video. Uh, she runs really good. I have beat and beat on that clutch and pried on it, but it's been pressed in for so long, and all the rains ran down the firewall into the bell housing, and the rats have decided to make them a home. So at the moment, she will not do clutch things. Motor runs really good. We do have some seepage on the head gasket here. That should clear up. It's leaking in between the layers because this head gasket's been on a shelf for, you know, 70 years probably but we've got her running after you know 71 years which ain't bad she runs good the motor's not hurt any and who knows maybe the clutch was broke when they parked the thing and that's why it was parked but it'll be a few weeks you'll see another part on this old girl we got the brakes done we got tires on it and we'll have her where we can drive her down the highway we'll probably put a different bed on there maybe some glass in it put a seat in there and Make her where she'll be a good old work truck again. But thank you guys for watching. And, well, I'll see you in the next video. And you guys will be seeing this truck again here pretty soon. And please consider maybe leaving a like or subscribing because we got a lot more cool videos coming to the channel.